Hey guys, this is the second part to the sensor test. Now, it might get a little confusing if you watch that video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It basically uh, show you that um, the whole process that I was doing to uh, see how far the sensor can track the controller and how well the controller can be tracked. Now, basically, what you see here, I basically summarize everything that happened on a piece of paper, so hopefully that will make more sense. Now right here, you see this, this thing right here is my one sensor, this is the other sensor. Now the distance between the two sensor here is about 18, uh, let's see, 18 and a half feet. This is my room right here, excuse my drawing, it's not the prettiest. Uh, this, this distance from here to here is about 11 and a half feet, so that's 11 and a half. And this distance over here is about 14 and a half feet. So what we notice is as we move closer to the sensor, we start losing tracking when we're about two feet away. So if we move this way at two feet, we lost tracking. And now we also now as we move far away from the sensor, we go in this direction. We start losing tracking with the uh, controllers at approximately about eight feet. So at eight feet, we have lost tracking of the controllers. <coughs> so what that means is, with if this my is my current setup right here, if we going from here to here, it's about eight feet. From there to there. Yeah, it's about eight feet. So that means it leaves about two feet in this area right here. Theoretically, means in this area, two feet, we have no tracking for the controllers. <clears throat> but now, when we actually play the games itself, this two feet that we theoretically lost, it it doesn't have an effect on us. And when we're actually playing games, most of the time, our hands. Uh, not going to be right next to our body so most of the time it's going to be out there and most of the time both sensors will actually see you and with two sensors it actually fill this whole area up with tracking as well so we don't really notice any sort of uh, tracking loss in this area um, theoretically we can lose tracking if you are just facing this sensor and your body is blocking the other sensor from seeing your controller so I have a suggestion. For those of you who want to mount your sensors on your ceiling, instead of putting them 18 and a half feet far apart from each other, let's go ahead and do it this way. So this is what my suggestion is for you guys. Move your sensor, okay? This dot right here is your sensor, this is the other. Move your sensor from, instead of putting it all the way up against the corner, move it about one foot or a little bit more than that is fine. Move it about one foot forward that way. And then have this sensor over here, the same thing. Move it about one foot or more. You don't need to go more than two feet. So you wanna go move a little bit more than one foot, you can go up to two, but I don't think you need any more than that. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna decrease the range, the distance from this sensor to this sensor to 16 feet. And I think this is probably the best, the uh, optimal range for the two sensor without having much issues with the um, controller tracking. Uh, the headset itself, again, is we don't have to worry about the headset because the headset has a ton of sensors on it. So you can go up to 16 and a half feet with just one sensor without any issues. So we're, we're not even gonna talk about the headset because the headset pretty much would not you won't lose any tracking with two uh, sensors set up. Also, Oculus themselves, they definitely don't recommend you having the two sensors that much far apart when you do your 360 setup or room scale setup. And, you know, I think they just play on the safe side. But what I found is if you go about 16 feet, I don't think you will have any trouble with tracking. And at the same time, because they are a lot further apart from what Oculus recommend, it allows you to have a much wider play area versus what what oculus recommend you have you do what they 
tell you to do. You, your your play area actually will be sh shrunken probably about to about five five by five at, at uh, the most you can go if you can't even go that far. So let's go back to the old one a little bit, and you, uh, some of you might have will ask why we don't lose track in this area, and there are several reasons. When I did my actual measurement to see how far we can go before we lose tracking with the controllers, I was a bit a little bit conservative uh, you know, with my numbers. I, I round down instead, okay? If you, you can actually push it to about nine feet uh, between your controllers and your uh, sensor, but I wouldn't push it that far just because we, you, at that point you are at risk for losing tracking. So let's, not, so let's play on the safe side a little bit and instead of 18 feet, and plus, most people probably don't even have this kind of space to play anyway. But for those of you who have the space, I do recommend you do 16 feet apart and uh, not go any further. <coughs> now, the next question some of you will ask is, do we need to get a third sensor to do room scale like Oculus stated? Uh, the, honestly, right now, with this, just, this setup with two sensors like this, I have no problem doing room scale. I can walk around, do everything. Actually, I can walk the, around. I can sit on the floor. I can actually get to the, on pretty much completely laying flat on the floor and play some shooting games. Uh, and no issues. I have no problem. So I don't even see why um, we need a third sensor. But then again, you have more. The more sensors you have, I'm sure the tracking will be a whole lot better. So if you have the money. Go for it. You know, might as well if you have money to get three or even four sensors at all four corners. But you know, for a lot of us, we're not going to be able to spend that extra money on the uh, the third sensor. Consider this whole set right here costs about eight hundred bucks. So I hope this uh, video helped, and remember to watch the other video so that way this video makes more sense to you. If not, you might be a little bit confused. The other video also have some good advice on. Uh, uh, testing out the uh, jittery wobbling of your controller if you run into that case. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video.